Very happy to be joined by Robert Rodriguez, assistant defensive line coach for the Minnesota Vikings. He's done that for five years. And, you know, with a lot of talk about the quarterback into and out of the uh, Dallas game, Dalvin Cook is the NFC Offensive Player of the Week. The defensive line play really dictated the tempo and to some in underrated fashion, paved the way for that victory against Dallas. Congratulations on the victory. I'd like to begin, you knowing Linval Joseph was not going to play. Jaleel Johnson is his replacement against allegedly the best offensive line in the NFL. How did Jaleel play? And with you and Andre, the defensive line coach, how'd you get him ready for that game? First of all, he played outstanding and the whole group played outstanding. And, um, but in terms of getting him ready, it was really awesome the, the way we handled it and the way Andre handled it in that room. And, and the way he handled it was to say, you do exactly what you've been doing. You've worked extremely hard. You know the technique. We trust you in this situation. So all, all of the, the only thing that changed is that we got him more reps and we told him that we trusted him. And that's what he did. He kept his eyes down. He played his technique and he played outstanding. He played as well against that offensive line as any nose tackle has all season. Mm -mm. How about that Ifadi Odenabo tackle for loss very late in the game? What a massive play that was. Ifadi has three sacks. He was here and then he was gone. It was with Cleveland and Arizona and then he's back here. So you know Ifadi very well and, and you really appreciate working with him. I know that. What, what has led to his rapid improvement? You know, it's his work ethic. It's his work ethic, it's his attention to detail. When we first got Afadi, there was so many old habits that he was used to. He was trying his best, but we had a hard time reining him in and getting him to commit to what we were doing. When we got him back right towards the end when we had to release him, we were disappointed in that because we were looking forward to working with him. But, uh, you know, he's, since he's come back, he's done such an unbelievable job. Uh, his work ethic is second to none and his attention to detail second to none. So even right now, I'm gonna go out to practice 20 minutes before practice, he'll be there and he'll be ready to go. So, you know, for me, I'm just happy to see his work being paid off. You and Andre Patterson were flat devastated when for whatever the reason, they were not able to bring Shamar Steffen back. He went to Seattle, now he's back. And Shamar Steffen's performance for this team, would you call it underrated? Because I know he's really, really helping you guys. Oh, without a doubt. I, I think for Shamar, though, the, the thing is, it's underrated by PFF and the media that try to look at stat sheets. If you're looking at a stat sheet for Shamar, you shouldn't be looking at Shamar's stat sheet. You should be looking at Eric Kendrick's stat sheet. You should be looking at uh, Barr's stat sheet. You should be looking at Harrison Smith's stat sheet because those are the guys that he creates for. And his, him being in the room makes us better because he makes the young guys better. Uh, his preparation for each game is just outstanding. And, uh, you know, he's as tough as they come. He's going to go in there and stick his face in there, and he's going to fight not one but two guys on every single play. He's going to make those around him better. And so uh, we're just glad we have him. Robert, you, you've been with Daniil Hunter since he came here from LSU. From Daniil's standpoint, clearly one of the best pass rushers in the NFL. He mm -hmm. has eight and a half sacks. From where he was to where he is now, from refining his technique and like developing moves and all that, what, what has that been like? Oh, it's been one of the best things I've been involved with as a, as a, as a football coach. Honestly, as a football person. You know, Daniil, the best thing about Daniil is he's an outstanding person. And, and he's just such a humble, good guy. You root for him. Uh, but people have always kind of just said, hey, you're a good player, go out there and do what you can do. And, and they missed out on so much. So when we got him and, and he showed us who he was and he committed to our technique, working with him and watching him ascend, it, it's as, I mean, that's, that's what you do. That's why you coach, is to see stories like that. Stories like Afadi, stories like Jaleel, and especially stories like Daniil mm. are exactly why you coach. Because everything you ask him to do, he does to the best of his ability. And he's got a lot of ability, so a lot of mm. times it works out really well. You know, I'll always root for his success because he's always going to handle it the right way. Now, conversely, Everson was here before you guys got mm -hmm. here. And, and Everson's season, maybe a little bit in underrated fashion, we all know about the six sacks. But with Everson overall, I've heard people say this is the best overall season he's had of his career. I mean, you're welcome to, to agree with that if you'd like. But if not, what has gone into his overall game? No, it is Everson's best season since, you know, I know he had the one season where he had like 10 sacks in a row. He was on fire. 
there's been so many things that he does um, that aren't at the point of attack that are so much better. He plays the run as good as he's ever done. He's still rushing the passer as good as he's ever rushed the passer. Uh, but more than that, he's, he's a better leader and a better man than he's ever been, that I've been around. It's been fantastic to be around him and to watch him overcome what he's overcome and to watch what he means to, to our room, not just to the players, but to the coaches. Uh, just having him there, the energy he brings. You know, they always talk about, hey, if you're in, a, you're in an alley and you're in a fight, who do you want there mm -hmm. with you? There's no doubt I want Everson Griffin. But to watch him still becoming a better teammate, a better father, better husband, that's been the best thing about it. This season, he has been outstanding. He's, he's just worked so hard to be a good man and a good player and a good coach. I wish the, the folks knew just how hard he works to do what he does. Uh, and he's done everything. He's checked all the boxes this year. Great effort, and he's a difference maker every time he's on the field.